A cat that suddenly decides to stop eating is often a sign of a more serious problem. It's not usually because a cat just doesn't want a certain treat anymore. If your cat isn't eating and has skipped several meals, or gone a few days without food, you should take action. There may be things you can do at home to help your cat regain its appetite, but sometimes veterinary intervention is necessary. Why it's a problem if your cat stops eating. Your cat might not like the food you're offering, but a lack of appetite is often a symptom of an underlying issue. Your cat may stop eating if there's something stuck in its stomach or intestines or if it isn't feeling well because of an underlying disease or infection. Or, your cat might not like the food you're offering. Your cat's lack of eating can also be a symptom of pain or discomfort. Regardless of the reason, it's a major concern if your cat stops eating. If you have an obese cat that stopped eating, it can quickly develop hepatic lipidosis by going without food for a few days. This disease is often referred to as fatty liver disease or fatty liver syndrome and it can be fatal if left untreated. One, This is the main reason why it's so important to make sure your cat, especially if it's overweight, keeps eating. With fatty liver disease, the liver is overwhelmed trying to convert fat into energy. An excess of fat accumulates in the liver, leading to impaired liver function. The liver is a critical organ and if it's not working effectively, your cat can develop weakness, lethargy, and jaundice without immediate treatment from your veterinarian. Respiratory diseases. Respiratory problems can affect your cat's sense of smell or ability to breathe leading to a loss of appetite. Two upper respiratory diseases may clog your cat's nose and eyes with discharge resulting in a temporary loss or restriction of sight and smell. Lower respiratory tract diseases may affect your cat's lungs causing it to have difficulty breathing. These respiratory issues may be caused by a bacterial or viral infection that requires basic care or they might be as complicated as cancer. Regardless of the severity of the respiratory issue, if the disease keeps your cat from being able to breathe easily or smell its food, it may decide it doesn't want to eat. Digestive system diseases. Problems with your cat's stomach, intestines, pancreas, or other parts of its digestive system may cause it to stop eating. Your cat may also vomit and have diarrhea or abdominal pain alongside digestive issues. But usually, a decrease in appetite will be one of the first signs of a digestive system problem. Issues can range from acid reflux, tumors, an imbalance of intestinal bacteria, parasites, irritable bowel disease, and other problems. Foreign bodies. Some cats like to eat things that they shouldn't or may swallow hairballs, all of which may become stuck in the stomach or intestines. Three a foreign body stuck in your cat's gastrointestinal tract is referred to as gastrointestinal obstruction or GI obstruction. A GI obstruction won't let food pass through the digestive tract and therefore your cat may vomit and most likely stop eating. Some foreign bodies can pass through your cat's system and may cause temporary GI upset or lack of appetite, but others may require surgery to be removed. Dental disease. Diseased or painful teeth and gums can cause your cat to stop eating. Four cats can fracture their teeth, develop resorptive lesions on their teeth, develop inflammation of their gums, form dental abscesses, and experience other dental issues that cause mouth pain. Just like people, your cat may not want to eat if its mouth hurts. However, dental issues may be difficult to diagnose in a cat, and your veterinarian may need to sedate or anesthetize your pet in order to evaluate the problem. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Food flavor. Cats can be particular. A cat may eat one flavor of the same brand but completely reject a new flavor due to preference. A sudden rejection of food may occur if food manufacturers change flavors and ingredients without any obvious signs on the packaging, your cat may take notice and rebel. Food shape or texture. Your cat can also be sensitive to certain shapes and textures when it comes to food. Some cats like triangle shapes, others like round shapes, and others will only eat crunchy dry food or canned wet food. Food spoilage. If you give your cat expired or spoiled food, it may not want to eat it. Check the expiration date on the food. Or, at the very least, give it a sniff to see if it smells rancid. How to get your cat to eat. If your cat has stopped eating its normal food, check to see if there's a recall on that particular food. It's another good reason why you should consider keeping your cat's dry food in its original bag so you can check the barcode. Sometimes a cat can sense that something is wrong with their food and won't eat it. Depending on the reason why your cat has stopped eating, you may be able to coax your kitty to start eating again. However, it's not normal for a cat to stop eating if their food is not changed, so a trip to your veterinarian is recommended to rule out medical reasons. 
If an upper respiratory disease has caused your cat to be congested and unable to smell its food, your vet may recommend at-home treatment to help clean your cat's nasal passages. This may involve nebulizing your cat in a steamy bathroom or placing saline drops in its nostrils. This breaks up the nasal discharge and helps your cat breathe easily so it can once again smell its food. Tweak your cat's wet food to entice it to eat again. Try heating up cold wet cat food or tuna for a few seconds in the microwave. Or, offer your cat canned kitten food, canned tuna, or canned chicken to whet your pet's appetite. Experiment by choosing a different flavor, texture, or shape of food to feed your cat. Make cat food from scratch. Your cat may prefer the fresher ingredients in a home-prepared recipe. Be sure to consult with your veterinarian before offering a home-cooked diet to ensure that it is properly prepared and does not lack essential nutrients. Check to see if the flavor of the food your cat has always eaten has recently changed its formula or ingredients. The information may be listed on the packaging as new and improved flavor. Or, contact the food company and ask. You may need to find a new favorite food for your cat. Whether your cat is sick, anxious, or just plain picky, remember that a complete refusal of food can have devastating consequences. So, even if you're trying to make your cat eat a doctor-prescribed diet, never starve your cat into eating a certain type of food. If the illness is the reason your cat won't eat, work with your veterinarian to design the best regimen for you and your pet. This may include a change in food type or consistency. Some cats may be enticed to eat by offering canned foods when they are unwell. In more extreme cases, veterinarians may prescribe medicines that act as appetite stimulants or recommend syringe feeding your cat a liquid diet. Or the vet may recommend the placement of a feeding tube to ensure adequate nutrition. You may have discovered that certain foods, such as liver or canned tuna, can act as appetite stimulants for certain cats. Remember to only offer these foods in small amounts. Large quantities may harm your pet by causing deficiencies or an overabundance of certain vitamins. Instead of relying on people's food, try encouraging your cat to eat commercially canned food. You may find that heating the food or mixing in fish oil, broth, make sure it does not contain onions, which are toxic to cats, or cooked egg could entice your picky cat to eat. If your cat still won't eat, take the food away and provide fresh food later in the day. If your cat has been eating human food exclusively, be sure to transition your pet over several weeks by mixing together your pet's favorite people's food with cat food. Many experts recommend rotating your cat's diet among different brands two to four times a year by using a similar technique. This practice may help reduce finickiness and also minimize the development of food allergies and intestinal problems. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.